My name is Kainson, the Tech Pro, and welcome to day 7 of our 30 days Hackerang coding challenge. Today is a, is, today's challenge is stamped arrays. Difficulty is easy. So let's see if we can quickly do it in a very simple and clear way. Given an array A of n integers, print A's element in reverse order as a single line of space separated numbers. So we have A, we print 4, 3, 2, 1. Each integer is separated by one space. Okay, so for you, I recommend reading everything. So basically, we are going to iterate through this array and then we are going to print it in reverse. So one thing we can do about this is to simply iterate it in backwards, in, re in reverse. So what it means is if I go to my whiteboard, my whiteboard does not show. So let me just go, go to this place. So we have this array, so permit me to kind of increase this. So how do we iterate it in reverse? So we have, we should have an index that counts backwards. So what it means is that if we have, for instance, we have, we have for instance, A, B, C, D, E. So we have the length of this to be five. So we have an index set at five, for instance, like this, I is equal to five. And we print the element at 5, which is D, and then we reduce I one more time to 4, we print the element at 4, and continue reducing I until I becomes 0. So let's do it instead of just talking. So I'm going to start the I'm going to start the index from line ARR. So this is line ARR, okay? Remember that len arr is the total number of the characters in the array or the element of the array and the index trying to read item at this index is, is going to give us index out of bound exception we are going to say minus one because array is zero base index so we are going to say while i is uh, greater than or equal to zero, I greater than or equal to zero, we are going to print. So I'm going to print ARR I. Now, what they tell us is that we should print in the same line. So to prevent Python from, from printing on the second line, on the second line, we are going to say end is equal to space, like this. Then Python is not going to print on the, on the second line, it's going to print in the same line. And what do we do with i? We can now reduce i by saying i minus equals uh, 1. So we reduce i by 1. So this is just what the line of code looks like. I think this is elegant, but let's see if it works. So I'm going to go to run this code and just see if it works. And I think it works. The sample test case worked. And let's submit this code to see if it also works. So there are eight test cases and hopefully all of them will pass. Let's see. All right, congratulations. Everything worked. We solved the challenge. Thumbs up to you if you've come this far. And we are going to continue from day eight in the next challenge. I would like to remind you to subscribe, like and share my video. Also leave me a comment if you have challenges or if this has been informative for you. I remain kind to the tech pro and I'm always there for you.